Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a hands-on of the brand new Facebook Home for Android. It's very easy to install. All you need to do is make sure you have the most recent versions of the Facebook app and the Facebook Messenger app downloaded. Then you can install Facebook Home straight from the Play Store. However, I will mention it's only officially working on a few phones right now, including the Galaxy S3, Note 2, HTC One X, and only in the US. So what exactly is Home? You can think of it as a new skin for your phone that brings a lot of Facebook features right up front. For example, as soon as you unlock your phone, you'll see a stream of pictures from your Facebook feed and you can immediately start scrolling through them to see what's up. You can like by double tapping anywhere on the screen, which is actually kind of fun to play with. When you're ready to unlock your phone, you'll find your profile picture as a little bubble. You can drag left to open Messenger, up to go into your apps, and right to open the last app you had running. If you use a passcode lock on your phone, beware though. With the default settings, anyone can like and comment before fully unlocking the phone, and the integration is a bit half-baked for now. Unlike normal Android, the app view is still extremely simple, with a list of pages where you can organize apps, however widgets aren't supported yet. Above is a quick menu where you can update your status, along with snapping a picture to be uploaded to Facebook, and scrolling over to the left brings you to a list of your apps. Once you're in an app, everything looks basically normal, but home is still only a button press away. Surprisingly, one of my favorite features of Home is chat heads. These are little notifications that will pop up and allow you to hop in and reply to a Facebook message or normal SMS and then go back to whatever you're doing without ever leaving the app. Best of all, this is now built into the normal Messenger app, so you can even use chat heads with a different launcher. So what do you guys think of Facebook Home? Right now it's a bit basic, but chat heads alone makes it worth a download for me, but definitely be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're interested in more, feel free to check out my last video, going over your questions including the PS4 versus a gaming PC. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.